from the Playa Bastion Beach. Um, it's quite cloudy, it's been raining Sunday morning in Costa Teguisa. So we're going to have a bit of a walk along now, uh, see what we can see and walk across into town. Hazel's going to spend half an hour lighting a fag now. Need a what? A windproof lighter. We need a windproof lighter. Because, as you've got to see, Costa Teguisa is extremely windy, as therefore it is called Breezy Teguisa. There you go. Pearl of Wisdom, Sunday morning. You heard it first. Right here. After this toilet. Very nice. Well, it's very nice. Yeah, they're not great quality. Yeah, the seafood restaurant. Yeah. Halfway down that massive long path. Yeah. It's the whole point of this beach. What's it called again? No. I think it's called the Bastillo Beach. Well, it's not ruined, is it? It's not ruined. It's exactly as it's supposed to be. I wonder if anybody lives there. Well, no, because people fall off, won't they? Up there. We'll climb over the gate, won't we? Yeah, do you know what that is? I remember reading about it now. It's part of the wall. It's a watchtower to keep yeah. out pirates donkeys years ago. Yeah. A castellation. It's protected or listed. I expect it's protected or listed. And we've got the Villa Toledo here. We've been in here for a, uh, a drink a couple of times. Um, mainly, uh, if you like your fish, I think it specialises specialises in fish. And it's sort of corners the market here as a destination. To eat by the sea. To eat by the sea. And um, most of the tables, there's a little bit of a courtyard here, and most of the tables are there right over by the sea. Here we go, menu. Deutsch, Francais, English. It's not that dear, really. No, it's probably middle of the road, isn't it? Starters, it is here. starters vary between eight quid and 21, 21 quid, Euros. and your main dishes sort of 16 to 25, maybe as a treat. Oh. 
to a bit further down now towards the main beach um, coming up just behind the Grand Tegiza player probably the biggest hotel in Costa Tegiza never stayed there as cells but very I think popular. It's very popular quite reasonable now I think price wise um, but I think the fairly small apartments well they're more like hotel rooms aren't they? that's why we yeah. just stay we like more like hotel there. rooms but great views right at the beach yeah perfect views because <clears throat> the beach is rocky. rocky here and they've put some sand in but it, it's fine it's absolutely fine Probably not great for swimming. Good for surfing though. Yeah, good surf destination. People have still got the towels out. Yeah. For the to come out of the rain to stop. The Brits have got the towels out. You can see how small the rooms are there. It is literally just a room, it's like a bedroom. Yeah. And if our little cafe's up. Oh, it ain't. Oh, it ain't. It's sat doing its shots, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, come up to one of Hazel's favourite places here. This is one of those places where you can uh, have the, pick, the fish pick at your feet. And it certainly isn't something I'd ever do. Not for you. Yeah. Seems to be closed anyway. Yeah, but it is Sunday. And January. And January. Coming down to the main beach now. The main town area. And there's a few nice places here we've been. Varley over there, our favourite cafe. Can't really see it. No, coming up to Varley, we'll show you that in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, that cash machine, yeah, there she are. Yeah. She's gonna charge. We stayed Neptuno, we stayed there, nice apartment. Yeah, place here called Neptuno. Adults only. <laughs> Adults only place. Um, I think they've only got about 30, 40 rooms. And uh, the middle of the road prices in it, it's not cheap. Yeah. They specialise in the German tourist market, really. Views. Yeah, yeah, we're all right, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, heading up now to what we think is still a free cash machine. No, it's not that one, Oceana. Although there is that one. Is that what you were going to? Oh, it's a free one up there. Yeah. Ah, oh, we'll go to. We'll go find the free cash machine because yeah. I don't really fancy paying another four euros out of what I've already paid. Uh, this is the Valley Cafe, one of our little favourites next door to the Galleon Player Hotel and uh, they do all sorts of nice sandwiches and breakfasts chips, coffees, fancy coffees, frothy coffees cocktails apparently and cocktails on an evening but strange the clothes on a Saturday don't they? yeah it's a lovely little cafe Yeah, it's quite tables. popular. No. Yeah, less tables on the path now. Pandemic appears to be over. That's no, I don't remember that. What? Ocean Bar. Ocean's Bar, I think it was here last time we came. It was one of the noisy ones on an evening. Galleon Tapas Bar. Galleon Tapas Bar, which is isn't doesn't appear to be that popular, does it? Yeah. Uh, menu prices here. Middle of the road, 20 plus for stuff. And uh, not too bad on your pizzas, 9, 10 euros.
And that's one of the ways down to the beach. Yeah. Hello. What? It isn't the right to go off. Oh, what? You wee camera. It's just a camera. Hello. It's just a camera. And we're just hammered to YouTubers. Oh, what? Leeds and Brentford. Oh, interesting match tonight. It's Brentford, not Bradford. I know, I thought it was. No, it's Brentford. No, sorry dear, Bradford are not in the same league as my Leeds. Oh, Leeds controversial. Bradford, by the way. Controversial. Morning. So there's quite a few restaurants and bars up up there on the... Yeah. This is the road course. coming up from the beach, coming into town. <coughs> I'll go further up. Um, I'm going to go to the Chinese shop round corner. Yeah, I need some money anyway, don't we? Yeah. <coughs> it's here somewhere up next one up. Yeah. Just a little scruffy cash machine in it. Further up. Sean sure used to be able to walk all the way, maybe not. He can. He just walk round that. Oh, yeah. Do. Oh, can you? No, the path ends. Me. No, you always had to walk around. Uh, some more little square here restaurants. Yeah, there's a, there's a nice chemist here. If you like chemists. If you like chemists and you don't mind paying too much. Yeah, a little square over there. Yeah. Little English places, aren't Yeah, they? there's a there, there's a rough and ready uh, Scottish cafe there which we had the breakfast in. It was all right, wasn't it? It's called the Plaza. The Plaza. Yeah, homemade. That shop there is the one that brick has in a way. Yeah, watch this shop here. Because. The lied last year and said that they had menthol cigarettes and they were proper menthol cigarettes that they'd kept hidden. And the want. And the want. I bought some like an idiot. You did. Live and learn. You cannot buy the menthol cigarettes anywhere. Not in Europe anyway. No. Oh, it's Sunday, isn't it? A lot of shops are yeah. They're not normal, they're A lot open. a lot's opening in the evening, though, anyway, isn't yeah. it? And it is still early, it's not 10 yet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, is this our free is cash it? machine? Yeah. So, I don't even know what street we're on, but there's a free cash machine here, so we're going to give this a go. Yeah. Unfortunately, that cash machine wasn't free. Some, uh, Nice little shops up this side here. I think we're coming up to uh, the Tiananmen buffet, which we've uh, been to a number of times in previous videos. Yeah, oh Dave, it's because it's Sunday, it's not even 10 o'clock, they're just starting to open. Yeah. This is the Italian buffet that it used to be. Oh, it's, ha it's Chinese New Year, the shut. Oh, what? Yeah. I think it's the year of the rabbit. Oh. <laughs> so they'll be having their own little celebration. I wonder if they'll be going out for an English. That's that Caesars. Oh, Caesars, which we might have a look at at some point this week. It does or it doesn't? It does. Otherwise, it wouldn't be So it looks like fairly reasonable prices actually. They've got um, antipasta starters around 9, 10 euro. 
risottos, meats, um, fillet of beef around 20 euros. It's mainly pasta, isn't it? Yeah, and this is, I think it's a chain restaurant, but um, still worth giving a go, I reckon. Yeah. As we'll come as back, as we'll come back to here. As long as what? As long as we've got my um, lasagna, can you see? Well, being the, in, in, being the basic pastas, won't it, surely? Yeah, so, but that's it. Yeah. So it's this side of the menu. Um, I, you know. I can't see it, you know. I wouldn't have to care. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Need to review though. Well, we know where they do do announcements on you. La Hacienda. Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Hyacinda. Hyacinda. Oh, it's over there, the Chinese shop. All right. You're going now, or? Yeah. Yeah, may as well. It's only just opening now. Yeah. They'll still serve us. So we're going in this little Chinese shop here. See if we can get. See if we can get a nice hat. And not get it blown away by the end of the week. They're just opening, but I'm sure they'll be pleased to see us. So this place has gone. This were open last time we were oh, here. That's the one you wanted to try again as well. No, it's next door. Are you sure? Yeah. It's, it's the one that's the White Castle. It was La... Uh, that one. Casablanca. Yeah, that's it. So there's a, a nice place here called Casablanca and we're probably going to do a, a review of this at some point. Yeah, we, we can hear me even now. And um, we had a really nice steak here, so we'd like to show you that at some point. Um, very middle of the road prices, looks reasonable. Yeah, I'm going through to the town square now, see what's open, see what's happening. There's quite a few places in here. Few times. Pablo's restaurant here, which, downhill, which used to be really, really nice, only very average now. No, they're just too keen to get too many people in, and the service is terrible. Oh. Now, we've never been to this one. Uh, Divina Italia here, um, it's oh. very, very popular. This could be a good one for lasagna. Yeah, and I think they will probably have what you're after. Yeah. 20 minute lasagna, 9 euro 70. Fine. Worth a go. <coughs> Tax included. Yeah. Give this a go. At some point. El Patio, we've been there. I liked it, you didn't. El Patio from our previous reviews. Very middle of the road. No, I really enjoyed it. It was yeah. disagreed on. You had a fancy pizza though. Yeah. It's probably better at pizzas than pastas. No, yours were rubbish. I know. <laughs> We've had a drink at that island eye like me. Island's there. eye here. Nice little place to get reasonably priced pint. Oh, is that that chippers you were over there? <clears throat> chippers. Well you said it didn't look much like No, it. no, it's, it's it's in the corner up there. There's a there's a there's a little um, so the, tapas bar. Square now is predominantly more for drinking, isn't it? Yeah. It's more like drinking little, before you have your food. Bars and yeah. Your, and they used to do music at that. I don't, I don't know if they do it now. It depends what day it is, doesn't it? And there's a bar underneath the bandstand. But in the summer, this gets really busy. 
Ah, that's the little tapas place up there that's raved oh. about. Um, our friend Scott's been in Tenerife, had a good look the other day. TikTok bar, that comes up on reviews quite a bit. It doesn't look much, but. The TikTok bar? No, it doesn't look much. But it's quite popular on the forums. And then one. the restaurant El Pueblo. Tapas. We have Tapas. looked at that because I'm sure we went yeah. round about. The There's a few places round here anyway. Um, and let's have a look. The British menu. Um, find it, I, I think you have to get here fairly quickly. Oh, there's not a lot on the menu. Yeah, then it's a goat stew, fifteen ninety five. Yeah, they don't look like tapas prices, do they? No, and there's not enough. Oh, the tapas is there, look. Oh. One, one and two euros. Div. There's loads there. There's absolutely loads. Well, you're saying one and two euros. One. That's yeah. Two. That's just for little a compliment. <coughs> All right. Yeah. It's. They are, they are, there's no prices on a lot of them, so there could be any it price. Says between five and eight fifty. Five and eight. Depends how big they are as to what value they are, I guess. It's worth having a go, I reckon. Yeah. We've just been up here. Yeah. Yeah. Coming back up here. Okay, from the side, we have just been up here. This is a totally different street. That's the Nazareth apartments over there. Yeah. Right. We're heading down to the beach. Yeah. We're going to go back through the square and yeah. that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's sun's out now, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Now we've stopped raiding. Right, going to have to put my hat back on. I'm going to get my head burnt. There certainly is. I mean, it's all lit up on the night and these buzzing. That, um, the restaurant we went to Sicily as well. Havana. Havana 6, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's just around the corner up there, yeah. And a uh, nice little crepe and waffle place here where you can just uh, take away or sit down if you wish. It's not often open, to be fair. And. Um, we're heading down to the main beach again now. It's like people are coming out now a little bit. And there's a place here called the Lighthouse, which um, is a little bit of a rock bar, has some lamp music on, does breakfast, full English 490. Quite reasonable. Surf wings is real. Yeah, and we're heading down to the surf wings now, which um, burnt down a couple of years ago. I don't know if it even was a couple of years ago, but it, it burnt down anyway, didn't it? Yeah. Looks like it's been rebuilt. I'll tell you another one that gets a lot of good reviews on the Oh my Maestro. El Maestro here. We've walked past it a few times, haven't we? And not not being completely sure about it. I think it's the end one. Yeah. Chain, yeah, it's the same chain as the one up the hill. It's all El Maestro, yes. So we'll have to try that one next. We have been. Yeah. Right, we're going down there. Yeah. Oh, can't do it with the wind with me out. Coming off again. Oh, that's that's open. That one opened before. Yeah. So. Uh, we kept saying, didn't we? What yeah. a waste of a lovely experience. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, fully reopened. All refurbed. Our favourite curry place, Namaste. I bet when that was reopening, when it was being rebuilt, that was packed. It's got competition then. I think they're slightly different places out of that's more of a, a little bar and a few bits of sandwiches and uh, Well this used to be more for ice cream didn't it? Yeah, it so Surf Wings former ice cream bar has now been rebuilt fully opened, he looks very smart indeed Nothing on the menu no. However it looks just like it did, just a bit cleaner and a bit smoother Oh, I had a bit of a charm about it before. Yeah. It was fully covered, wasn't it? Well, it is now. It's all up. Oh, yeah, they put the. Yeah. Well, it was only like a temporary roof, wasn't it? Yeah, that was but on it, it had yeah. a little bit of a charm about it. Yeah, it did. They probably rebuilt it in the same stone. Mind you, it was the roof that caught on fire, so that's yeah. probably why. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I've not seen that before. Yeah, down to Sandy, the windbreakers. Oh, if you like to sit on the beach here, there's some nice windbreakers and um, a bit of a fancy sandcastle. Now, this wind in the summer is fantastic. You want it, you really, really want it. But I suppose in January it makes it a bit cooler, doesn't it? Yeah. So, um, if you ever watch the beach bar webcam, oh, yeah, the Costa Tequiza. I'm now passing the beach bar webcam. Where is the camera? The camera is on these tables at the corner. In fact, it's right up there, you can see it. Give it a wave. Yeah, I've had a pancake in there, go on. And few nice shops here that have uh, reopened. The walk shoe shop, I don't think they do a lot of business. Uh, La Pardella Cafe here. Oh, yeah, we've, eaten here. we've eaten here, middle, like mid, mid, yeah, eat. middle of the road, it's all right. And then uh, the fuel stop, which is a bit of a, a rock bar, which I think is all right. Hazel's not right fussed with. Yeah. Overrated, yeah, don't you? Yeah, it's very overrated. Yeah. It's nice, but it's not that nice. Yeah. <clears throat> and lovely seafront here. Oh, you can yeah. hire a bike, a scooter, or a tricycle. And onto a few British bars here at the front, there's uh, Ennis's Irish Bar. Um, we've eaten in there, they have specials on on an evening, uh, they have the, the footy on as well. Typically English food. Yeah. Nice pie. <laughs> nice pies. <clears throat> I don't know what this dude wants here. Hello, dude. Waterfront, that's very popular. And another British bar here. It seems to be closed again. It was, uh, what a shame. The Waterfront, I don't know if that name is reminiscent of a song from the 80s, but. That, this is very popular. Yeah. It, cl it opened again last time we were here, didn't it? We were just opening. Um, and then it's closed again. It could and be on holiday though, because people actually do shut up. Yeah, it could be. It's Jan it is January, but. Yeah. Um, and the Irish Bailey next door, which is um, a nice little pub. Um, and then the Dolphin and the Cutty Sark. I believe the Dolphin, you must put your beer mat on the table or they get very stressed. You can no longer smoke in any of the bars no. now, outside well, you, even. You sit out here, don't yeah. you? You sit out here and have a ciggy if you want a ciggy. Which causes quite a divide. Yeah. Non smokers love it. Now and that's the Barcelo Tequiza Beach, yeah. which is an upmarket hotel. So we're back of the Barcelo, um, which is quite expensive. Uh, it's above some shops again, but it's uh, it's more rooms than apartments. 
and um, one of my colleagues stays there and she absolutely loves it there's a little selection of shops and an ice cream parlour at the end good place to walk your dog well, I'm, I'm not so sure with all them bikes we just saw well you just watch out where you're walking don't you well, there is a designated cycling lane. You, you need to stay out of it. People do it, doesn't it? Heed the warning. And this shop here, Crazy Loop, has been here donkey's years. They must be doing all right. Spanish fashions. And uh, <clears throat> right next to it, I think, is the, the rental shop for bikes and scooters and bits and pieces. It's a very popular cyclist location yeah yeah so there's the bike spot and lands active here and uh, right. a few bits and pieces ice cream parlor is always very popular here and uh, people seem to rent in that that's an electric bike is that electric assist and so these these all have a lovely view I think it's about time we had a nice cup of coffee yes not enough loads of restaurants and stuff like that about us but there's not enough little places where you can just sit and have a coffee there is some but there isn't enough and there's certainly no you. takeaway coffees we've no. always said that yeah they don't like to give you takeaway coffees because you're not going to spend any more money I don't know what the wind noise of a like on this, but it's supposed to be windproof. Look at that div with a mask on. What, outside? Yeah. <clears throat> she must be worried about bulls coming in off the sea, and there'll be plenty. Just not coronavirus bugs. Green Beach Bar. Where's that? There. Well, I was thinking more one of them where it's nice to sit out. Up there, yeah. 
if she does coffees. <coughs> Stay out of the bike lane. Always be windy though. Yeah, I'm on about the sand. Yeah. So we're going to try the uh, Jablais Cafe here. See if they do a nice frothy coffee. I think they will. More people out and about now, after 10. <coughs> yep, it's getting up time in Costa Tegiza. Um, walking on the other side of the uh, main beach now and walk across to What's the name of the hotel down there? Sands Beach. Sands Beach. Um, it's not as developed down here, but we'll be walking past the water sports and diving centre, around the corner, over to Sands Beach, where they're actually building a hotel, but I think it's, it's it might stopped. have been stopped now, yeah. yeah. If anybody objects to us filming, they can cover their heads now. Designated cycle in there. Yeah, you got to watch out on these cycle paths down here. In fact, just don't walk on them because you will get run over. <clears throat> That's even worse. <sighs> Coming up to a few uh, small restaurants down here that we've been into. One called the Pescara here seems to be very popular. However... We have been. You didn't like it. I did. I didn't... It wasn't untasty. Um, I think I had a, a single... You um, had a paella. 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 And um, unfortunately it didn't go down too well. Or it didn't stay down, put it that way. And I had lamb and it was lovely. You had a lovely lamb piece, yeah. And it's a nice setting. Isn't it? It's a beautiful setting, this Pescara here. Again, middle of the road pricing. Cafe yeah. over there, so, really nice sandwich we'll walk around this bit <clears throat> and from our previous reviews you'll have you may have seen the Flintstones Rock Cafe um, which was a very fair lunch actually it wasn't it yeah. um, they don't have any prices on the menu no and there's one next door which seems to have reopened yeah that that's Bacchus. popular on the forums. Is it? Been, uh... See what sort of prices there are. It's, oh, it's definitely reopened. It's uh, all shiny and spangly. Um, British menu with taxes included. Oh, they do fried goat cheese. 8 95 tapas here. Um, probably not the cheapest. Mixed salad, 7 50 Spag ball, 9 95 Yeah, right, middle of the road prices. 
it might be worth a go one day. What's that called again? The Bacchus. Oh, so we're coming up to your, which I really didn't like, but you loved, German cafe. And around the corner here is the dive centre and water sports places where you can hire bits and pieces. A few boats here and uh, the surf corner German cafe, which I liked, but uh, isn't that popular. I think if they made more of an effort, push lovely, themselves lovely out. That yeah, yeah, they're yeah. Really yeah, they're obviously retired and can't be bothered doing that much. <clears throat> yeah, really busy around here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Everybody's waking up and coming out now. So last time we were here, which was last January, wasn't yeah. it? There were last year. Um, absolutely no sunbeds on the beach at all there were nothing going on were there no no there were still people here but there yeah. were no sunbeds on the beach no of COVID. And yeah. i don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing because it just it does spoil it a bit doesn't it the look of it i mean well it's not as wild but it, i mean it's a de developed area anyway isn't it yeah. i don't think it's overly spoiled it's not like any dorm Famous now. Yeah. About at least a thousand people. Right, I'm gonna have a, just have a quick look at you. There's a little bit of a shop here, so we're gonna have a pit stop and see what they've got to offer. Maybe not. Maybe not excursion centre here and obviously you can get your uh, scooters here and bikes Elect I think they look like electric bikes and oh yes there's a bit of a shopping centre here what's this called um, we're coming up to the back of this shopping centre and they've got a place which have been quite a few times Las Cucaras shopping centre which is quite big from the other side Ooh, be careful some nice public loos here and uh, one of our favourite non-buffet buffets called the Beijing there's a tobacco shop there oh nice tobacco shop there and let's see what the Beijing prices are at the moment. It looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? But yeah, it's fine. It's more than fine. Yeah, again. So we've had a few good meals in here. It's not, not bad. It's got a very random price. It used to be seven ninety five. Um, bearing in mind prices have gone up a lot, uh, but it's now 12.80, which is reasonable. You can order what you want and they just bring it to you. You can have as much as you want. If you start getting really greedy, they frown a bit, but as long as you're having your beer, they're not too fussed. And um, there's a Hyperdino in here. We're going over there, aren't we, to have a look at that place. So we'll go have a look in this shop here, see if we can get a nice hat. <sighs> so we've just come out of the Los Cucaros shopping centre now and we're heading possibly west. 
down to Sands Beach Hotel. And we'll be passing the most expensive hotel on the Costa uh, Tequiza. What's that called? I just forgot. We'll see it when we see it. We'll see it. It's like double the prices of anywhere else. It it's this beautiful. one here, isn't it? Yeah. Melia. Yeah. Melia Hotel yeah. uh, for those with deep pockets. Yeah, well out of our price room. Well, what we want to pay anyway. So they've put this concrete path out here on the beach of this hotel, which is useful for passers-by. A little rock pool there, which has been emptied. Sun's coming out nicely now, it's only about half past ten, but I think it'd be a nice warm day. The rain's gone away now. Yeah, the skies are clear, then clouds have gone. So this is all part of Amelia. few steps down here and then we're on to the beach the path sort of ends for a while <coughs> How would that benefit you? It'd benefit me. Would it? By about a quarter of a mile. Yeah. Fair enough. Or a gap in the wall. A gap in the wall? Yeah. Across people's gardens behind there? Yeah. Yeah. I think that wall might be a windbreak. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's windy. Windy today. Nice and cool in that sun.
and there's some paths out there onto the sea it's like harbour walls so there's one one side and one the other Coming up to another uh, smart little hotel here. What's this place called? It's not little. Not little. H10. H10. H Resort. It's a more of an expensive one, but affordable. So middle of the road then? No, it's more than middle of the road. Yeah, high end. Yeah, but not as expensive as Amelia. But no. I mean, look at the views at the Yeah, we've got beautiful views here. Um, and it's, it's relatively unspoiled looks very smart <laughs> oh, very windy here very windy indeed here like I said, in the summer, that's perfect. Yeah, so it, how lovely is that? Yeah. The rooms have got like sunbeds on the yeah. back, you know. Lovely location. Is it way out of our price range? No, but the no. reason that we don't choose to stay here is, as lovely as it is, it's just a room. Oh, we, yeah. We want an apartment. We want a, a small apartment, don't we? Or yeah. Even better. With a separate bedroom. I don't want my bedroom in the room, but each to their own. Each to their own. <sighs> I think it's more for families as well. Yeah, family orientated. And now for the biggie. <laughs> the biggie. So just coming up to Sand Beach now, which is one of the the oldest hotels. Um, the light bungalows, single story bungalow you get, unless you're here on on their artificial beachfront, and you can have a first floor. It used to be a, a timeshare place, didn't yeah. it? But they've sold a lot of them yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. It so, needs updating. It's lovely, but yeah. very nice old place, fashioned inside. But yeah, it needs. A bit of investment on fixtures and fittings. But we've stayed here on the beachfront and it's so lovely to sit out. Yeah. In there. Yeah. But also, further in, it's like um, a pool and then around the pool there's lots of apartments. Well, the bungalows are several areas, yeah. so it's great for families. I think there's, there's six pools inside there, yeah. and then there's this this sort of uh, seafront here where you can you can get in if you want, but the water might not be that clean. And they do some water sports here as well, don't they? No, yeah. nobody here. It is still Sunday morning though. Yeah. We've been to the Lido, haven't we? We had breakfast there. We, we went in this place, yeah, that looks like a ship for some breakfast and it were alright, wasn't it? Lovely, we're yeah. here. 
It wasn't stupid. It was 10 euros or something. Each? Yeah. For breakfast? After yeah, last but the, they had nice stuff. Yeah. And this is the end, isn't it, of City Geezer? Yeah, this is more or less the end, and the, there is something being built just beyond here, but not much were happening the other So from that last end year. to where we are at the opposite end, you say it was about two miles? Yeah, so the whole beach front maybe a couple of miles. Nice, nice steady walk, not too hilly. Well, it's not hilly, it's not is hilly, it? It's flat. No. It's, that's why I like yeah. it. Yeah. So you'd be, you'd be fine on a bike, fine on foot, and uh, fine on an, an electric vehicle if you have procured one. Okay. As far as we want to go. Yeah. The first morning. Yeah. Are we having to walk up the, the beach wall? No. So there's a beach wall you can walk up here, some rocks at the end, you can sit and have a ciggy.